ना उधर से सर अब अच्छा कर आई पूरे मेरे नौ आए हुए ना थ्री सेट आई सर आए सर दो हाँ यस वन आए हो गुड आफ्टरनून एंड इट्स गोइंग टू बी गुड इविनिंग सब सर मैम नमस्कार सो फर्स्ट अफ अल आई लाइक टू वेलकम अल अफ यू इन दिस वेबिनार सीरीज बाई आर professor dr bhadraman tuladar sir uh, now this is yes zero and now uh, each friday so there will be a webinar so there will be 16 webinar all together uh, from next week there will be s1 s2 and then s16 so uh, we have professor balthan luitel uh, here who is a professor of uh, katmandu university school of education now i kindly request balthan sir Uh, to introduce Badraman sir, one of the we don't need his introductions. So, so first of all, we will ask him to answer. Well, sir, over to you. Until then, Badraman sir, we will start. Thank you. Should I speak Nepali or English? Uh, dual, dual language, dual language, dual, dual. Okay. dual language. So, um, uh, Professor Badraman Duladar uh, was born in Kathmandu, Nepal. Shall I say the year or no? ललितपुर सानेपा ललितपुर एंड advanced studies from msc till phd from people's friendship university um, russia then ussr now russia and uh, he has received a number of grants and medals uh, awards uh, not uh, such as national education day medal ronans and and the latest one is rona science and technology talent award in 2005 and he is a life member of uh, board of trustees at ku and also several other uh, professional licenses such as nepal mathematical society uh, so on and so forth um uh, so he has uh, published a number of papers in international journals also he has been um very uh, you know he has been active till date in in networking across uh, you know different associations and societies in uh, mathematics and also in math education uh, as per his tps that he is very in, very much interested one part of his interest is history of mathematics that is being um, uh, organized you know that was organized some years back at uh, kathmandu university school of education for our masters program now yeah. open it for for all those who are interested so it's uh, it's our um uh, uh opportunity to uh, host uh, professor badran tuladar who was a uh, who was the registrar of kathmandu university as well he was the found he has been the he was a founding member of kathmandu university so um that i forgot to mention uh, uh, <laughs> so uh, over to now I think we should invite uh, Professor Dolader now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Badran sir, now over to you, please. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, Bino. Hello, my as a dual language, you know, my language is my Amru, yeah, Jun Boy language, so that's my Amru. Karma Sir, you know, yeah, the mathematics language, class only, only, no mathematics go now language, only will have side English, my Swiss got only, ah, bit more, so I'll use the dual language. Uh, आज को प्रेजेंटेशन करने मेरो मोटिव के थे भाई ये टक नहीं यो खाल टक पर्यटन मोटिवेशन टक बने मैं तो भैया जो आए भी हो मैथमेटिक्स छन छेन मैथमेटिक्स फर्मुला भर्चुअली छन छेन मैथमेटिक्स कुछ धे कर टक नहीं मैथमेटिक्स माई लाइफ हो मसरी चाहिए मैथमेटिक्स पुगे रैथमेटिक्स पुगे मेरे जीवन मैं के करें भाई पिक्टोरियल प्रेजेंटेशन हो बड़ी भैया एक मेरे जीवन को सान हिस्सा आज प्रेजेंटेशन हो सो यू विल हैव ए ब्रिफ बायोग्राफी 
my brief biography uh, related with the mathematics. Uh, okay, so the topic is mathematics, my life. So I should start from my study life then, but I'll start with two quotations. So since we are talking of mathematics, then we should know what is mathematics itself. Also, I'll conclude with a, a quotation about mathematics. Anyway, so I'll start with what is mathematics. So if you ask any person, even layman, they will have their own uh, concept of mathematics. But here I have put a quotation by Albert Einstein, uh, one of the biggest math, biggest scientists of this year, century. So he said that there exists a passion for comprehension. So there should be a passion for comprehension. Without this passion, there would be neither mathematics nor natural science. So this natural science, where mathematics is best, depends upon the passion. So you should have a passion. So that's what I'm going to uh, show in the slides, coming slides over here, my passion for mathematics. People think that it's a very hard uh, subject. And many people try to avoid mathematics, though they, will, they are using mathematics every day, every minute, because if you don't use mathematics, you will stop taking your breath and you will be no more. So mathematics is there always, but you are, uh, the only thing is you don't, you don't feel it as mathematics or you don't take it as a mathematics. Okay, so next quotation is by Edgar Distress. He is a literary uh, graph theory about programming. So he said that programming is one of the most difficult branches of applied mathematics. The poorer mathematician had better remain pure mathematician. So if you want to be a applied mathematician, you should know programming. Even without knowing programming, all of us, including my wife here, here and all of you, is programming. So when you uh, go to bed or try to go to bed, then you will make a programming what I will do tomorrow morning. And when you are in the morning, then you will make a programming what you will do in the late afternoon and so on. So you are always doing the programming, though you are not properly using the mathematics. So programming is a very, very important time. So with these two uh, slides, quotations, now I will go do my life of mathematics, my mathematics so, study. So, so I have sorry, Vadraman sir. Other. These slides are not moving. We are still in the first slide. Kinto move. Me to move. Where is that? Sir, let you. Sabbe let you. One. That's why I'm only. I'm only. One. 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 Why? Change what? Why, sir? Why? Why? Change what? Why? Change what? Okay. Good. Thank you. So, uh, do I have said? I will say that. So, everybody now is they try to be applied mathematics. Even without saying that, you are actually applying mathematics every time. So, and applied mathematics will be mathematics when you do some programming, and it's very not very difficult it's quite difficult to make programming in many cases but we simply think that we are programming all the time so before going to bed so you'll be programming for the next day when you are morning you'll be programming for the daytime and so on so on so programming is always going in our, in our daily life also but it is a part of applied mathematics i will say like that now you can see me so my mathematics study you can you are seeing me Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you see me? So this is uh, the photo from 1966 when I went for my father's study, who had studied in Moscow. This is at Tribune University. And so here I have one lady over here. Uh, she also went together uh, with me. Of course, there are other students, uh, but this is our close family because we are Buddhists and we come from Buddhist community. That's why you can see three monks has come to, my father is here. Our father is here. So three monks from Ankuti Bihar, they have come to bless us uh, before departure to Moscow. So this is a very historical photo. I was going to Moscow in 1996, about 1996, to study mechanical engineer, not mathematics. So I went there to study mechanical engineer, to become an engineer, not a mathematician. But after going there for one year, you have to study what is called the preparatory class. 
let me show the picture of what preparatory class. Here, this is the picture of my preparatory group with a Russian language teacher, Lyudmila. So when I was taking courses in preparatory class for the first six years, uh, six months, first semester, first semester, you learn only Russian language. You don't learn anything. In the next six months, in the second semester, then you have to, besides Russian language, you have to learn subjects related with here uh, for their study. So my study was mechanical engineer, so I have to study physics, chemistry, mathematics, and then technical drawing. So besides Russian language, but there also we have to study uh, a course on history of uh, Soviet Union at a time. So these were the courses. Uh, since I went there after my bachelor's degree in science, so I was waived for taking uh, physics and uh, chemistry courses. So I waived for that because I knew where I, I attended few classes. Then they said, no, you don't have to come because you know physics and mathematics, uh, physics and chemistry very well. Don't come to class. So the grade was given in the first uh, few weeks already. And the mathematics teacher, a senior lady, just similar to this one, but not very fatty like this one. She was teaching us mathematics. And I felt that in Nepal, we have not learned mathematics. I mean, in Nepal, हिसाब Change Lono Parso, Bonir Melitani, Yotasani, Passon, Ogizun, Slide Masur Madekani, Passon, Mamma Zagit Bevasi. Then I switched on to mathematics department from uh, the mechanical department. So, yes, it's any more any mirror life mathematics, ma, convert Vero Gego. Oi, Operation was a class of Anapodio, forty songs of any. Class my sister bag, dear, didn't deny any, ninety six, seventy seven two summer, didn't deny Mole. Uh, MSc Parna Thali, regular class gera, or uh, mother almost regular dairy or regular thing. So, you know, on what to correct you one, my mathematics one go Nepali Vidyarthi Madhya Pailo Patak. The university me pore yekulo. My hostel allagitiyo. I was alone Nepali in that big hostel. Or ko lai hostel allagitiyo. My hostel ni natural science pore yekulo ko physics chemistry math pore yekulo lai hostel ni all pore yekulo allagitiyo. My yekle Nepali theya. त्यसैले uh, Sweden till get I got him. Sweden, my Miro Pilaco Guru, school go Guru Kuseni, China Porti Resatia, then I get Bosnus again some honor. So in 1970, I went to Sweden. 1971 was the last vacation. I went all through the Europe to more Pachi Pachi Kimporio Bone, Mamponula, that was not very much related to mathematics. That's going to be your general And so in 1972, in June, I completed my master's. So I, our Nepali friends gave me a nice farewell dinner. Our liquid pounds of pound in China, but Malaysian dairy respect goes there. Everybody uh, Nepali, not only Nepali, even the university officials uh, used to, and from the embassy also, they used to respect me very, very much. I don't know. My politeness level, now level, now name Badrava, Badrava, a gentleman, Manson. So I was polite, and so everybody respected me. So this was favor, favor. So I come, came back with a master's degree. Uh, from Soviet Union, Russia, People's Friendship University. So after working here for some time, uh, you must be, let me tell you, this is also a background of history. Uh, Parasar, Parasar Nuan Naran Suwal was the first registrar of uh, Thirvan University. He was the first registrar of Thirvan University. And uh, I had the opportunity to work with him from 
2022 साल देखि काम गरेको उहाँसँग बट आफ्टर 1 इयर आई वेंट फर फर अ स्टडी व्हेन आई आई केम ब्याक इन 79 72 आई वर्कड विथ हिम एन्ड विथ आवर फाउंडिंग वाइस चान्सलर सुरेश शर्मा वी 3 प्रसन्न एन्स सुवाल he became the dean of institute of applied science and technology suresh das sharma became the assistant dean of this institute of newly created institute of applied science and technology i was the uh, young uh, graduate from russia we went together to dharan to build institute of applied science and technology so i stayed there for 12 years so in the beginning suresh das sharma went for his for his phd in uh, uk and uh, when he came back i went for my uh, phd in Russia in 1979. So uh, this is uh, the friends in in the National Science Department. Actually, uh, these two are uh, the physics teachers. They are from the physics department. So this is Dalbar Arikari, uh, whose photo you'll see later on also. So he's from mathematics. So we two were from mathematics. I was enrolled in PhD. So they were doing the masters at that time. And of course, uh, this is Womnat Podel. I think you, his son is now working with us. Earlier, he also used to take some test classes for us in Dulikil. Okay, so this is when I went back for my PhD in 79. Now, in 17, I went there, started my PhD, and you can see that my first international conference was in the University of Orleans uh, from January 5 to 9, 1982. So I, I, my first internal conference, but I, the conference itself was also a first internal conference on non-potential interaction and their Lee admissible treatments. So I presented a paper there. Uh, and that paper was, after few revision, was published in a hadronic journal from USA. My first publication was from USA, hadronic journal in USA. And of course, this is a member of city council over here. This is Sadi Kondra. I'm here, he's a young person over here. And this is a Chinese Jisung China. I have never met him after this conference. But this uh, fellow, Rugeri Marius Santilli, uh, with him, I had association with 1982. And the association is still uh, going on. You will see his photo later on also. So now, uh, in the coming November of this year, and no, end of November, or December uh, 1st, week, I have been invited by him to attend a conference in Thailand, about which I'll tell later on also. So my first internal conference was in January 5 to 9, 1982 in the University of Orleans, France. Moscow was the conference in Bhagalini, and the Nepali man was in the world, and the other person was in the world, and the other person was in the world. So this photo is from this, you know, in the city hall of Orleans. It is actually given to me, you don't hold my hand. I'm the reception Diego to you. I'm going to go to the Paliga. I'm going to go to the Paliga. All over. The answer is, Jun Milama, you be a light of any France could be smart and Lorraine. There is zone of arc light any baptized Gorego town to one city. All my Gorego one there once a zone of arc point out with Bego town once a day. Oh, okay. Then after that, after six months, I have a second internal conference. June 17 to 11, 1982. To conference my acquisition parts when the Malaysian invite Garego. Your International Union uh, for Theoretical uh, and Applied Me Mechanics Monster. This was a symposium. Ma, Mosan Baglego, Mosan Yai, Yakton Sani, Yastos and Young, very young Bosilasma. You said Academico Holvo, Turino, one ago, uh, Italia, Turino, one ago, Mathematician Lagransco, bought place once. Uh, Tiansani, more concerned Baghdad, Tampoli Mill presentation Gorego, Yanko paper, light and review Gorepochi, Romania co academile, Chapegotio, where Dosos and publication, Romania. You pay the Gorajaga, time go. On this page of the star is any, actually Miro, PhD thesis go, Pilata, Zadino Porso, qualifying examination, one didn't Porso, you saw the process, the Apache, Molesani, September. 1980 formally made a PhD registration it was on uh, September 1980 and I defended my PhD thesis on 19 May 1983 that means after two years eight months and 19 days 
I defended my PhD from uh, Moscow. Lo, or yet sort of somewhere ma, so we saw Mazo Gara, just to Garo time Masani, uh, my listen, reverse or art mina, nest in Masani, you defend the oil is to PowerPoint China, sub by Sani, art lekera, yes, is any, uh, you have to defend your uh, thesis. On that, that is going to university ma, when a university is a premises, we have the thesis is presented before a council or jury, jury of professors. Let me show the jury of professors. Okay. There will be 24 professors in the council. This is my supervisor over here. This is my supervisor, Galiolin. So it's not a big hall, but not all 24 were present. Yeah, at a side go. At a side go, any. At a go, at a side go, at a side go, professor Dickino, anyway. Over here. So uh, this is my defending my PhD here. And now, now I have a PhD. Now, since my coming presentation will be on the history of mathematics, then I will give you a small glance on the history of mathematics. That's kind of your uh, mathematics tano analyzing there is an interesting novel, huh? but you should know what is the most important topics in mathematics. I'm not going to teach mathematics. I'll tell you what is the most important topics uh, in mathematics. So development of mathematics at a glance. So if you go to flashback, the most important topics in mathematics is numbers, geometry, algebra, algorithm, analysis, and set theory. Now, I'll try to tell, especially the mathematicians, about these six topics. So numbers, what is number? Number system is the origin of modern mathematics. So modern mathematics started from the number system. Only in 19th century, decimal place value was numeration. It was actually not discovered. Uh, India started using uh, this zero value and zero value numeration. And this slowly passed away to the Islamic world. So in the olden times, matrix was developed more in India and in Islamic wars. In 1698, Simon Stevens wrote a book the art of tense so related these are all related with number theory 18th century we have john Adler lambert he proved that e and pi were irrational in 19th century gauss and kumber initiated what is known as complex number in 19th century william hamilton developed another number system known as quaternions and in 20th century Kurt sebastian hensel developed a new type of number called periodic number so all these things will come in my later seminar phases. Then comes geometry. Geometry is a set of useful facts about the world. So we have geometry, pyramid, So it started long time back, 300 BC, uh, with the elements of Euclid. So Euclid has written elements, and from there, uh, the geometry started. In 19th century, Bollier and Lovacevsky, the mathematician, uh, developed what is known as non Euclidean. Geometry. So before that, you can see it was Euclid geometry. We call it Euclidean geometry. And in early 19th century, we had two types of new geometry called non-Euclidean geometry and elliptic geometry, even elliptic geometry. Then the third one is algebra. It's a problem-solving technique. I'm not going to talk about the technique. I'm not going to talk about the technique. It's algebra. So in 1572, there was the first book on algebra by Bombelli. And then there was second uh, by in 1591 by Vete, introduction to analytic art. 19th century, George Peacock developed the symbolic algebra. And in 19th century, George Boulet developed Boolean algebra. And Boolean algebra, you can think, uh, take it as the basic for all our computer systems, even your, your mobile, works on Boolean algebra. Then algorithm very difficult part of applied mathematics is the most significant mathematical development. Algorithm no the as I have told. So third century BC, Euclid gave a first type of algorithm known as GCD, greatest common divisor, yet the school money per And in 17th century, Napier introduced invention of the logarithm. The logarithm came into existence in 17th century by Napier. And in the 17th century itself, Kepler and Newton gave the complex calculation in 19th century, Hilbert's 10 problem it is Hilbert has 24, 23 problems, and of this, is the 10 problem is known as Diophantine equation. So it's related with how to find Diophantine 
equation is related to algorithm. You have, you have to develop your algorithm for that. Then only in 20th century, Alan Turing developed the Turing machine, which is the base for all computer system. Now comes the fifth point, analysis. So analysis is called, considered as completely, and it's completely uh, revolutionized mathematics. So when analysis came into existence, then mathematics became quite modern and it revolutionized the whole of mathematics. In 17th century, Newton and Leibniz developed the calculus and analysis is the base of analysis is calculus. In 17th century, Bernoulli, Ehler, Lagrange, they did a lo lot of voluminous and successful works related to analysis, mostly to calculus. And in 18th century, Cauchy gave the definition of limit of and continuity and of the derivative. So he, he gave the definition of limit, continuity, and derivative. And in 17th, 19th century itself, Raymond gave the Fourier series, which is a very important series. And in 19th century itself, Westras gave the modern definition of limit. You can see that this calculus of and it developed into analysis generally in the 19th century. And dedicate dedicate gave the successful uh, definition of real numbers. Then comes lastly the set theory. So it's a rigorous statement of the notion of infinity. So to learn what is infinity, you should learn a bit of set theory. So it's developed only recently in 19th century. George Cantor gave the first foundation of set theory. And in 1881, John Venn gave what is known as Venn diagram, which gives a illustrative way of uh, learning set theory. In 1908, Jermelo gave the first approximate axiomatic set become then axiomatic uh, in 20th century. He gave a uh, choice theory known as Jermelo Jer Frankel set theory, uh, which is known as axiom of choice and is generally known as abbreviated at JFC. And in 1925, not very far away, oh, yeah. there was then it started very nicely in 19th century, but when it came to 20th century, they found a lot of crisis and paradoxes in this set theory. So uh, there is known as Russell's paradox, Richard's paradox, coning paragraphs and rolling paradox. So people are still trying to uh, work out on these par paradoxes. Now, <laughs> for the young mathematician, so of this, on these three topics, what is the focus going on? This is focus going on this uh, six topics of mathematics. In theory of number, a fundamental result in number theory is a unique prime factorization theorem for integers. Looking, it looks very simple, but not a very simple way of finding the prime factorization. So we shall come later on in my later phase of my seminars. In 1847, in an attempt to prove Fermat's last theorem, very important theorem, which I'll talk in the coming seminars, uh, Gabriel Leme incorrectly assumed that this property holds in general, which is not correct. So a lot of research is going in uh, number theory, especially uh, related with prime factorization theorem. Then in geometry, Mikhail Leonovich Gromov, a Russian mathematician, discovered the geometry of discrete groups and solved several outstanding problems. His geometrical approach rendered complicated combinatorial arguments much more unnatural and powerful. And here I have put in the blue, the Abel Prize lowest because uh, it's, there is no Nobel Prize in mathematics. Uh, but in 2000, and especially the prize was given away in 2003, the Norwegian have started Abel Prize and it's equivalent to Nobel Prize. Uh, so it's equivalent to Nobel Prize. For mathematics, we have Abel Prize, no Nobel Prize. And Mikhail Leonovich got this Gromov. Uh, Gromov got the Abel Prize over here. So you will see uh, in most of the research focus, uh, prize, this Abel Prize is being given. Algebra, algebraic geometry treats the question, what is the geometry of solution of polynomial equation? So solving polynomial equation, we know how to solve quadratic equation, but solving any type of polynomial equation is not very easy. So research is still going on this uh, topic. Analysis. The ATR singer, two person, got the Abel loaded. There are 200, 2004 Abel loaded. Uh, the index theorem is one of the great landmarks of 20th century mathematician, influencing profoundly many of the most important later development in topology, differential geometry, and the quantum field theory. 
now in partial differential equation. Peter Lax, he also got the Abel Prize laureate in 2005, established with his theorem, the conditions under which a numerical implication gives a valid approximation of the solution of a differential equation. Those Abel laureates, photo of this Abel laureates, you will see in the coming slides after a few, few minutes. So now, yes, now here is the Abel Prize. So this is the pictorial Abel Prize. This is Abel Prize written in this way in the Norwegian language. It's called Prison Means Prize. It's Abel Prize. So let me give you a history of the Abel Prize. Most of you may have maybe knowing the history of Nobel Prize. Uh, Nobel Prize was the real town. So there was a bomb, Barut Banara, Dikolaya Pasi, Diego Bonson. Third year, Bilama saying, mathematician lies any, mathematics lies any Nobel Prize, Diana. That's good written what a reason, sir. You're a true reason, Kitty Oni. Two time, Juni Bilama, you Nobel Prize constitute God Akiri. Two Bilama saying, Nobel Prize, Dino, for your mathematics, one of money. Yes, two mathematicians, Dino, for the Junusco Satru. Just I was like, put a came on no party. Or Tesco Satra, more dinay, Dinner, mathematics, Mazin, Nobel Prize, Narako, one it yasa, or let Oropania. Karen Hurson Manson. Anyway, the Norwegian mathematician Sophie Lee, 1842, 1899, very young. This was the first eager prom proponent of the uh, idea of creating an internal prize in honor of Niels Hanil Abel. Abel, when I was young, I was a young man, I was a young Norwegian. He gathered support to establish a fund to finance a Ken Niel. Abel Prize for a standing work in the field of pure mathematics. But this Lee may have been inspired by the fact that Nobel's plan for annual awards, which he launched off in 1897, lacked a prize in mathematics. Lee died in 1999. Or Mile Surma Mile Jun Poilo conference gave Usego mathematics were related. By admission, Lee admission conference gave the transformer. So he uh, Lee died in 1899, and he forced to status phone language. In connection with the centenary of Abel's board in 1902, King Oscar II of Sweden and Norway, Norway took an interest in this idea of establishing a prize to honor Abel. They are going to need them now with mathematician theo. So I know young years may be able to even duel my fight girl with a bunch of duel one ago. Kitty or go currents and bang 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 bang. So previous steps were taken. But in 1905, the union with Sweden was dissolved. Norway to Sweden took you and began the attempts to establish a prize came to no doubt. Where on a second, in Norway to Sweden, let's go on. Norway to Sweden took you. The world names for a major international, the world plans for a major international Abel Prize were dusted off almost a hundred years later in a meeting between Abel biographer Ariel Stubach and Telenor Group CEO Todd Matt Hermansley in 19, uh, in August 2000. The August 2000, the prize A working group was set up, and in May 2001, the proposal to establish an Abel Prize was submitted to the Norwegian Prime Minister on 23 May 2001. The Nils Henrik Abel Memorial Fund was established on 1st January 2002. The Abel Prize is awarded for outstanding scientific work in the field of mathematics. The prize amount is 6 million Norwegian crown, about 750,000 euro, equivalent to the Nobel Prize. The prize was awarded for the first time on 3 June 2003. That's why we have 2003. 2003, we have to do the prize is awarded by the Northern Academy of Science and Letters, which appoints an able committee consisting of five mathematicians to review the nominated candidates and submit a recommendation for a voting able loaded. The name of the able loaded is announced in late March or early April. Abel Coyota and Monument Banago, the Angus and Nabu Chani, Sculpture Chari, Gustav Vigilan Le Bonagotio, 
अने ओस्लो में चाहिए तो उसको फोटो फिर फिर आप फर्क कराऊं सर ने एविल तो नहीं मोमेंटो ढेर ठुलो सही ना क्या स्प्लेस इन ठुलो इचा जो नाम ले देख दे देख देनो करके करके उसी नो को बैंक में जान सको ला एविल मोमेंटो सानो से नहीं यो क्रिस्टल को से नहीं इस तो एविल को से नहीं इमेज आके रहे इस तो सानो से नहीं बना� the first ever prize, or you may be able to see it now, Jean Paris Lelieco is from the College of France, College de France, Paris, Europe, man, for playing a key role in shaping the modern form of many parts of mathematics, including topology, algebraic geometry, and number theory. Generally, I will prize bound like a theory mathematics, like synthesis, gonna Janico Manchel, like a pair of two ton three man. And this is the first ever prize awarded to. जीएन पेरी सेरे कॉलेज डी फ्रांस पेरिस मा पेरिस को सेन प्रोफेसर हो ओ तो पाया पाया फिर तो एबल को मोनुमेंट को मार तोल गया रा फोटो किचन ये वाला जैनी तो गार्डन पे नाइट देखो सर जब दो सौ दो सौ पर टू फाइन फोर मा सो इट वाज गिवन टू सॉर माइकल ए फ्रांसिस एटीए ओके तो रिसर्च फोकस में वहाँ को ना Jointly with Isador Singer, he is from MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, USA, for the discovery and proof of the index theorem, bringing together topology, geometry, and less. They get as a tin chart or the subject like material errors and synthesis. Going to say, you want to have a price and pound is some amount of bars. So, this is the two uh, jointly was awarded uh, the average price for two times four. And the prize is generally given by the king. The prize is generally given by the king. You send right now, what's your king? Okay. You send it. The two run for Avil Prize Laureate, Professor Isadore Singhalai, Malay, and MIT, I'm going to go to the MIT conference. 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 Avil Prize manche mele mathematics ne two prele bade guso. So this is one of the two thousand four, two thousand three lakh suru karega four ma paago manche le bade sege mele. And the Avil Prize two thousand five was given to Peter Lax, Peter David Lax. He is from Kurand Institute of Mathematics Sciences, New York University, for his groundbreaking contribution to the theory and application of partial differential equation and to the computational of their solutions. Now photo of Peter Lax is here. This is Peter Lax. Young Takko, young man, see the danger. Nowadays, he is very sick. Quran is raised from Quran is from Mathematical Sciences, New York University. And during his time, the king was not feeling well, and so uh, the prize was given on May 24, 2005, by uh, the prince, Norwegian prince Hakun, to Peter Lax on May 24, 2005. I was present at that time there. Okay, I was present at the time in 2005 on May 24 when this prize was given. I am also fortunate to welcome Prince Hakun at Kathmandu University when I was a registrar. So he has visited Kathmandu University. Prince Hakun of Norway, he has visited uh, our Kathmandu University in Dolikhel. So I was very uh, lucky to welcome him uh, as a registrar at the time. In he came, I think, in 2010, something like that. So you can see uh, the Avil Prize momentum is very simple like this one. Crystal one. When uh, the day for the Abbey's Abbey Prize ceremony comes, the whole uh, city of Oslo is decorated like this with flags of Abbey's flag over here. This, these two photos I have taken by myself. Why was because I was there over here. So then uh, on the next day after uh, the award, then there will be a Abbey lecture on the next day from morning to evening. It is only here in the University of Oslo. The prize ceremony also is in the University of Oslo, but in the whole building, which is in the Oslo. And the every lecture is taken place in the new uh, building of this University of Oslo, known as George Schubert Group building, very big, huge building, and it's a very modern building. So this is that modern building where uh, the talk program took place on the next day, on May 25. So I was present the whole day over here. Then Peter Lax is there on the left and right. Uh, his three colleagues who walked on his walk, did more research on his walk, I will present there. So Professor Sebastian, then Professor Peter Smack, and Peter Stevens, 
uh, from actually, actually he is from Denmark, I think, Duke University. Anyway, so they, the four of them make, made, gave the presentation, the whole lecture, Abel lecture, they call it, on 25th. And on this is Peter Lax himself making a presentation. He gave a presentation of the abstract Fargemelian Lindian of theorem, very not very familiar to us, and not very familiar to us, and Saint Bentham's principle. But he was giving the presentation on overhead projector, with using the overhead projector, and he has written all the slides uh, by in, which is own hand. Since I was present here, I was lucky to uh, take some of the photo from that. So these are the four giving the presentation over here. Uh, <coughs> These are the glimpses of that Abbey lecture. So I met all these young people, uh, big mathematicians there. But this Peter Smack, I met him at again on uh, Boston when I was there in 2013. I met him there also. So this is Peter Lack's presentation over here, very not interesting for non mathematician but this is what he did. He said that speed, speed depends on size balanced by this person on solidarity splendor. Actually, his uh, presentation was very interesting. Anyway, and then I was very fortunate then to write a small uh, autograph uh, for me. So he, this I will loud at Peter Lax was writing, uh, uh, signing the autograph for me. Okay, this is with him. So this Abel lecture is organized by Niels Hendrik Abel Memorial Fund. Is under the Northern Academy of Science and Letters and, sent, and the Center of Mathematics for Applications in the University of Oslo. Since I was present here, I have all these materials ready for to show you. The sixth, the next one in 2006, it was given to Leonard Carlson, Royal Institute of Technology, Sweden, for his profound and seminal contribution to Harmon Canalys and the theory of smooth dynamic system. Now in 2007, so this was uh, the, the king was not there, uh, the, the queen. Uh, has given the prize on that day to Leonard Carlson by Queen Sonja. So it was in 23 May 2006. I was not there, of course, there. Then the two tons Abel Prize was given to Srinivasan S.R. Vardhana, and he was the Indian origin, but working at the Quran Institute of Natural Sciences in New York, same where Peter Lax was working. They were working together for his fundamental contribution to probability theory, and in particular for creating a unified theory of large deviation. Now, this is, the king itself was there uh, to award him, honor him. So as King Keral presented the Abel Prize for 2007 to Verdana on 22nd May 2007. I was present there, you can see, not only me, my wife was also there, so before the uh, king arrived, we were, we have already arrived there, and so preparation were going for uh, welcome the king over here. So we are sitting there very close on the backside of the king itself. Uh, so after finishing, we are coming here, coming out. And then I had a photo with Vardana uh, after just after coming out from the prize award ceremony. And uh, my missus with his missus over here <laughs> in Norway. <laughs> Oslo. And then on the next day, there are also a, a lecture, as in this previous case, as in 2005. We are very fortunate. So on September 1, I was in MIT. Then in September 3, I came to New York, went to uh, the Quran Institute, and I met uh, Professor Vardana in his office over here. You can see he was offering coffee for me in his office. Uh, but Peter Lax was not present on that day. He was not feeling well. Uh, so I couldn't meet him again in his office. He was absent on that office on September 3, 2013. So we also uh, went to the Abel's memorial uh, and then had our photo. We didn't get Abel. We are, we are not Abel loaded, but we, we had the occasion to uh, take photo, just like the Abel loaded. <laughs> okay. But in 2007, Peter Lax was there because uh, Vardana was his colleague. He also came over there. Then I brought one book written by Peter Lack himself and had one more uh, autograph there. Okay. And this is the book uh, where he has, Peter Lax has written with warm regards on May 23, 2007. Okay. With Peter Lax, my wife. And we were given this t-shirt for both of us, the Abel uh, 
t-shirt free of cost of course to those who attended the uh, avil lecture series so avil prize 2007 okay now that was avil prizes now going back two slides on research focus on topology topology is the question what remains the same in geometry even when the length is distorted is the question now being worked in topology that is the uh, research focus going here then we have group theory uh, Thomas revolutionized the theory of finite groups. Thomson revolutionized the theory of finite groups by proving extraordinary deep theorems that laid the foundation for the complete classification of finite simple groups. One of the greatest achievements of 20th century mathematics is the work on group theory. And Teach, Professor Teach, uh, got the Avell Prize laureate. He became the Avell Prize laureate in 2008. This would be a great and highly influential vision of groups as geometrical objects. So you can see group comes from the let's say algebra and then mixing with geometry to introduce what is known as a teach building which in course in geometric terms the algebraic structure of linear groups harmonic analysis leonard carson the picture we have already shown he got the avil prize uh, in 2006 introduced what has become known as carlson's measures now a profound Fundamental tools of both complex and harmonic analysis. My master's thesis was on harmonic analysis in 1972. So I did my master's uh, thesis on harmonic analysis. Then we have uh, dynamic systems going on. Dynamic systems are mathematical models that seek to describe the behavior of I mean, time of large classes of phenomena, such as those observed in metrology, financial markets, and many biological systems from fluctuations in fish populations to epidemiology, even the simplest dynamic system can be mathematically surprisingly complex. The system looks very simple, but you can't find a simple solution for uh, such simple looking dynamic system. So it's one of the research going on is on dynamic system. Now that is enough on the matrix. Now again, back to photos. So, wall metal here, known as WM, WMY2000. On May 26, 1992, in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, the Internal Mathematical Union, it is the head of all mathematics, is called the Internal Mathematical Union, IMU, declared that the year 2000 will be the whole mathematical year, WMY 2000. So that's why in Norway, every prize, they want to start from 2000, uh, but started from 2003 only. I came to know about this uh, whole mathematical year somewhere in 1995 not 92 itself so in 1995 somehow i got the message that uh 2000 will be world mathematical year then i made a plan to celebrate this world mathematical year in many ways if nothing happens in nepal because it's not very easy uh, in nepal uh, to convince the government that let us celebrate this mathematical year world mathematical year uh, because at the time, 2000, mathematics was still in a very low profile. But I made my own personal uh, commitment. So I made my own mission. My mission for World Mathematics uh, 2000. I had three missions. I put three missions in front of me and tried to see how I will achieve these three missions. Of course, uh, I started these missions, planning this mission from 1995 itself. Once I knew uh, that there will be World Matter Year in 2000, I started uh, planning myself. So the three missions I put forward uh, to test myself was partic participate in an internal conference. So during this 2000, I will participate in one in internal conference. Okay. Second was publish a metric book. Until that time, I have not formally published a metric book. I have written some uh, for Institute of Engineering. I have written some. Uh, notebooks, not uh, mathematic notes. No, we have not published a book. And then third, produce a PhD scholar. So I have put myself the mission to do this, accomplish this through three missions, participate in an initial conference, publish a mathematical book, and produce a PhD scholar. Now, let me show you how I achieved all three, three missions with the determinations, hard work, and whatever it is. First, the, I started with the internal conference. Uh, when this world mathematical year is one part, when 
year 2000 were coming, then there was a problem known as Y2K. Year 2000, two is two, K means thousand. Because for the computer people, it became a big uh, headache for them. Because in the computer, when you feed inside the computer, the date system is, you write something like 23 or 27 to 1979. And you don't write 1979, you write only 79. Because there's only place for two digits. So they write uh, 27 to 79 means it is 27 day of February uh, 97, year 97. But when it comes to 2000, they, they have to write now 27 to 00. zero. Uh, what is 00? Zero, 00 zero? Zero can be 1001, it may be uh, something, whatever. So uh, the problem was the computer was sure to crash. And so it was known as Y2K problem, very big headache for the computer people and especially for uh, bank people because the whole system, banking system may also collapse. But uh, computer people worked very hard in the initial phase and they solved this problem in somehow. So there was no uh, problem with uh, uh, accounting or whatever it is. It went very, went very smooth. Now coming back to my mission. So to celebrate my World Mathematics Year, I participate in the first internal conference itself. First internal conference was held on January 11, 2014, 2000, connection with World Mathematics Year 2000. The topic was mathematics and its role in civilization in Macau, China. And Macau was, uh, yeah, I think it was a Portuguese colony and Hanover to mainland China only in 1999. Only a few months earlier, it was Hanover to uh, 99. So when we went to Macau, uh, it was just fresh for many flags were there because they have, main China has just up, received this Macau. <clears throat> so going to Macau, you, generally you go from Hong Kong. So I was making a presentation as at the time, you don't have the PowerPoint, you have to use OSP, over your projector. So I just work over your projector. So I was uh, giving a talk on Aryabhatta, Aryabhatta and the title was uh, Mathematics in the uh, Indian Subcontinent. So if you write Indian Subcontinent, then you can also uh, include Nepal, and to make that presentation, the material uh, I found was in the National Archive. Microfilm Anyway, so I made my uh, first mathematics conference uh, for World Mathematics Years on January 11 to 14 in uh, Macau. Okay, so you can see my wife was also there. She travels with me everywhere. <laughs> I think it was the first uh, big uh, travel for her abroad. Okay. Then I started writing the book in writing in 1996 itself, but intensively from 1998. And then I could uh, finish a book with uh, title and introduction to the theory of stability of motion. So if, if there is no stability motion, such a rocket will not fly, it will fall down. And the final toss was given by my supervisor. I went to Moscow in 1998. I was fortunate. I was called by the university uh, and I went there and talked with my supervisor that I'm writing a book. And this book is on the basis of my PhD thesis. And it was, uh, the book was launched Prime Minister Krishna Prasad Bhattrai, the Indian Prime Minister Krishna Prasad Bhattrai, launched the book and introduced the theory of stability motion. So it was joint with Gali Ulin because he was just given us me some hint, but I have written and printed here in Nepal. Um, so it was done in uh, Birin the Internal uh, Convention Center on 9 March 2000. So in January, I participated in the conference. In March itself, I have published a book and it was launched by Prime Minister. So you can see over here, this is a book over here. But when this was being launched, or it was being published, my supervisor, he already had passed away. And it, this is a joint publication of People's Friendship University and Kathmandu University, also historical. You can find it in our university library. Then the third, third one is uh, completing a PhD, having a PhD scholar. I planned it 1995, but in 1997, I could uh, enroll a PhD and it, it was Dalbadar Adhikari itself. 
who was enrolled as a PhD. He was a faculty at Trivandrum University. So he came to Kathmandu University uh, to join a PhD under, under my supervision. And uh, from TU, having a PhD scholar at Kathmandu University, also historical. And to make my task easy, when in 19, when I went to uh, my friendship university, then I requested uh, one of the senior uh, professor who was also a guide of Dalbaru uh, Adhikari's uh, master's thesis uh, and requested her to become a co-supervisor. So actual thesis was done under my supervision with the co-supervisor of the Russian uh, professor. So Dalbaru Adhikari, faculty at TU, is the first PhD mathematician from mathematics, PhD in mathematics from KU. Uh, the convention was held on the con convocation was held on 17 September 2000. So in 2000, I could accomplish all my three missions. So the ex external examiner was Dr. Bogovsky uh, from People's Frame City University in Moscow. So we didn't have a proper person to uh, become an external examiner for such a topic uh, because most of the work was related with his master's and then for this work over here. So this Russian professor uh, was we invited him to become the external examination. And he, was, he also gave a, a very popular talk uh, in Kittipur, Central Department of Mathematics also. So you can see, uh, to celebrate World Mathematics Year, I put three missions, and I could accomplish all the three missions. So I am now telling the young people over here, if you want to accomplish something, put a mission in front of you, and you should be able to accomplish that mission as per the stipulated time. Okay, so that's why I call this is uh, encouragement type of talking. Then another big uh, uh, ac activity in the matter world is, as I have already told, Internal Mathematics Union is the top of all uh, the mathematics. So uh, this Internal Mathematics Union was founded in 1920. It holds Internal Congress of Mathematicians. It's called, it's known also known as the uh, Olympiad of uh, Mathematics. Every four years, just like Olympics, uh, every four years. The last five were here as follows. In 2002, Beijing. In 2006, Madrid. 2010, Hyderabad, India. 2014, Seoul, Korea. And in 2018, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And the next ICM will be held in St. Petersburg, Russia from July 6 to 14, 2022. So the bl black ones, I started participating in the Inter Internal Con Congress of Madrid ICM from 2002, Beijing. I had all preparation for participating over here. I had all the financial support also. My article was also uh, being accepted. But since I have become the registrar, just, just, and there was a lot of mouse problem. So I couldn't leave the con, uh, university and I have to drop uh, this ICM. But in 2010 uh, and 2014, I was already uh, chairman of Inter uh, Nepal Mathematics Society. So, as a chairman of Nepal Mathematics Society, I participated these two ICM. And only two years back, uh, three years back, I, I went to Rio de Janeiro uh, for this conference. The next ICM will be held in St. Petersburg, my own uh, Russia. So, most probably I will be going here if nothing happens over here. The COVID is still on the pipeline. We don't know. So, let me show the pictures of my participants in this ICM. So this ICM 2002 in Beijing, August 18 to September 1, 2002. This was held in the, what is known as People's Great Hall in Tiananmen Square. It is a People's Great Hall where uh, the assembly of the parli parliamentarians takes place over here. It's a very big hall accommodating 10,000 people. The hall is enough to accommodate 10,000 people. So we are there on the opening was there over here uh, in this big hall so you can see me and my wife is there in this internal congress of mathematics and in the chinese alphabets this in the chinese alphabet these two lines means two here also two lines mean two just like in our nepali script the nepali script two zero zero two in the Congress of Mathematics. And so this is from the People's Great Hall. And adjoining to this People's Great Hall, is, so I also made a presentation uh, in ICM 2002. And this was uh, the banquet held in that uh, 
big banquet hall which could accommodate 10,000 people. It is it is in the People's Great Hall. Then in in 2010, since I was a president of Nepal Marriage Society, I attended the General Assembly of Indian Marriage Union in Bangalore on two days uh, general assembly generally 16 16 and 17 2010 so i was addressing uh, the internal matter union general assembly so with my address then nepal materialist society could become the associate member of internal matter union for the first time and there are uh, we are four uh, participants uh, but icm itself was held in hyderabad the general assembly was held in bangalore but the Conference was held in Hyderabad, so we have Kanayadha is there, you can see. Yeah. So Nepal Lilias to ICM Theorem here. In 2014, I was still the chairman of uh, Nepal Matter Society, so I again attended the General Assembly. It is in Guangzhou, the whole uh, capital of Korea, from August 10 to 11, 2014. And there are, uh, uh, you can see, Jyoti Madam is there, okay, in Seoul. I seem to turn 14. Of what kind of hour is st still there? And I met, but here uh, my madam was also there, you can see, with one Chinese. Uh, she is a parliamentary, of course. We could go take photo. And the one over here, he, he is the uh, editor of the American Matters Society journal. Anyway. And then in 2018, we went to Rio de Janeiro for another. Uh, ICM 2018. It was held from August 1 to 9, 2018. And you can see here, this is very young, very nice uh, French mathematician known as Cedric Villani. He is a 2012 uh, film medalist. He got the film medal in uh, Hyderabad <coughs> uh, over here. Those who are interested can go to YouTube and look at Cedric Villani, YouTube. He makes a very nice presentation on mathematics. Very nice presentation on mathematics. He has two, three uh, YouTube uh, presentation on the mathematics. So you can go to YouTube and look at Sadiq Vilani's uh, presentations, talk. So there also I gave you a presentation. Of course, wherever I go, I make a presentation. But here I had opportunity to, I was requested to chair one of the sessions uh, of the ICM. <clears throat> and these are our Nepali participants over here. So Ramsar is there, Sarsuti is there, uh, but Kaneya is not there. Now, <clears throat> that was ICM, the highest one under Internal Management Union. Under Internal Management Union, there's another society called Internal Commission on Mathematical Instruction, ICMI. So as in, it's a commission of the Internal Management Union. It's a second layer. <clears throat> it was established in 1952. It's a major responsibility of this ICM is to plan for the Quadrennial International Congress on Maternal Education. So it, it takes in four years. It's known as the ICME conference. So it, it is related with uh, education, just people like you sitting over there, you know, and all these things. So ICME 10 was held from June 29 to 11, 2004, in 2000, uh, in 2004 in Denmark. I participated. The blue one is where I participated. ICME 14 was to be held from 12 to 19 July 2020 in Shanghai. Many of you uh, were supposed to go there, but it was moved to 20, 2021 and it took place in a hybrid uh, mode. And some of you must have participated uh, by Zoom or whatever it means in this uh, ICME 2021. Now, IEMU as ICM. Now, below that is called ICME, and it has ICME, ICMI has ICME uh, conference. And below this, uh, ICMI is also another organization. This is the ICM 10 July to Denmark. You can see participate in the Denmark. There also I make a presentation over there. Then below this Internal Committee of Teachers of Mathematics, ICMI, there is another called ICMA. It is called the Internal Committee of Teachers of Mathematics Modeling and Application, ICMA. It's an application to the International Commission on Matter Instruction, ICMI. It holds International Conference on Teaching of Matter Modeling and Application, ICMA, every two years, starting from 1993. <coughs> the first time I attended this ICMA was a 10th ICMA conference held 29 to August 2, 2001 in Beijing, China. So I went to China to participate in this ICMA. 
So my aim was to participate in all big mathematical gatherings. ICM, ICME, and now ICMA. So when uh, this 2001 10th ICMA was being held in the closing, then I took the floor and said that. So 11th now has been declared to be held in USA and 12th, it will be somewhere in Europe, I guess. And the 13th, 13th, America will say, no, 13th, we don't like to have it. We have two years back, of uh, two times back earlier. And uh, Europe will say that no, only last year we had ICMA, so 13th, we don't want to have. So nobody will be holding ICMA in 2013, uh, 13, uh, in 2007, it will be in 2007. Then I said that I welcome all of you to participate in 13th ICMA conference in Kathmandu. Uh, in 2007. So I gave a open invitation uh, to have this 13th ICMA in 2007 in Nepal at Kathmandu University. This was uh, participating in the 10th International Conference in 2001. I also made a presentation. Wherever I go, I make presentation, of course. <clears throat> the 12th was held in uh, London from July 10 to 14, 2005. So this is a group photo of that. It's a very small, cozy type of conference. So I have not put the photo for 11th. 11th was here, all in uh, USA. But what happened is just uh, in the eve of this uh, 11th conference, there was 9-11 um, disaster in US. And many participants didn't have, didn't get a visa to travel to USA. And so that was a very small type of uh, group, small group type of conference only, uh, not very um, cozy, not, not like this one. So it was just a failure type of uh, ICMA conference, the 12th, 11th one. In 12th, I have to go to London because I am now the member of the executive committee to have the next 13th one in Nepal. So we are there, my wife is also here. So my wife is somewhere here, I am here, sitting over here in this conference because I have to uh, give the reporting of my preparation after two years, we have the 13 internal conference. So 13 internal conference, then we have to have in Nepal. So it was held in our uh, Chibiron auditorium. You can, so you can see it's again the same size over here. Uh, the 13th one was held at Kathmandu University from 25 to 29 June 2007, 2007 over here. And at the time of this assembly hall, Chibiron hall was just being created. It was not finished at all. So you can see the hall at the time in 2007 was like this one. So we have to have this falling chair, but we had a conference, the 13 ICMA conference in Dulikel uh, over here in 2007. Now that was all related with uh, bigger mathematical uh, conferences. Then I left my uh, my tenure as the president of Nepal Massive Society came to an end <clears throat> in 2015. Then my attention moved to Internal Mathematical Olympiad, which is a competition for younger people, then my attention where was here, then I thought oh, now I should move forward so that Nepal could participate in Internal Mathematical Olympiad. Then uh, for that, I traveled to Hong Kong in 2016 to observe how Internal Mathematical Olympiad are being conducted. So I went there from day one to award ceremony and then observe every steps of how IMO is being organized, how Nepal can participate in it. I learned everything. And so I observed everything, how competition are done, how op opening ceremony is done, how closing ceremony is done, everything. And so this is a closing ceremony where you can see most of the prizes goes, goes to China, U Korea, and USA. You can see it over here. So, the, Nepal in IMO, International Olympiad. The first participant of Nepal in IMO was its team in 58 IMO, which was held in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, from July 2012 to 2007. So IMO, participant of Nepal, was started from here, from the 58 uh, in 2017. The selection process started more than two years ago, from 2015 to 42 districts uh, by the Nepal National Olympiad of Nepal Moon, an organization registered at Kathmandu CDO office. Now this uh, Mathematical Olympiad of Nepal Moon has been upgraded to what is known as Mathematical Association of Nepal, MAN. I am the patron of that MAN, taking care of everything. And the final 
six contestants take part in the International Olympiad. The final six contestants were here in the premise of School of Management. So I brought the 25 last group uh, to select the final six contestants over here. And so we went to uh, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil in 2017 to first time participate of person of Nepal in IMO. So you can see uh, over here, this is the president of uh, IMO board, internal board over here. So I am uh, from that uh, 2007 onwards, I am the country representative of International Master Olympiad board, uh, internal board for Nepal. So I have to uh, lead everything over here. So this is our participant over here. So we go with our Nepali uh, Dora Sowal and uh, Toki, and of course with Nepal flag. And a uh, lot of this is uh, Deepak, Pastula, he, he is the team leader. I am the I am the country representative. He is the team leader. So he, team leader has to discuss all the problems, all all these things over here. And this is the group which went to Brazil in 2017. Next year, uh, the 59th was here in 19 uh, in from 3 to 14 July, Kuznapoka in Romania. Uh, the 59th was here in Romania because the first international material Olympiad was held 59 in 1959 for the first time IMO was held in Romania in 1959 so the 51 59 they wanted to have in Romania so is our Nepali uh, flag bearers our participants over here uh, yeah. and so my wife was there of course in Romania and in 2019 we went to BAT University of BAT for the IMO 2019 the 60th uh, IMO, it's a 60 over here. So this is our Nepali person. And the good news for this uh, 2019 IMO is that one of our participants could have an honorary degree. He was awarded an honorary degree uh, in this co competition. And in 2020, it was to be held in St. Petersburg, Russia, but due to COVID, it couldn't be held in Russia. So this IMO 20, for St. Petersburg, Russia, have to be held in Nepal, Kathmandu. Uh, they were observing virtually over here from Jew, you can see. So we organized everything uh, for them, for Russia, in Nepal itself. So this is how six participants are socially separated and taking part in this IMO uh, 2020. And since they couldn't have it uh, physically in St. Petersburg, in Russia, the IMO 2021 was supposed to be in US, but the USA said that we have pandemic, we have economic problem. So in 2021, we are unable to have this IMO 2021 in USA. Even such a big country, rich country, whatever you say, developed country, was unable to do next year. Then St. Petersburg said that then we'll do it next year, 2021, in Russia itself. But unfortunately, the COVID is still uh, intact. And they couldn't do it 2021 also. And they could, they have to go to the same uh, procedure. So this was uh, same group of 2020. So in 2021, also then we have to have it in Nepal. So it was held in 2021 July. So you can see this is IMO uh, 2021 exam center for the Russia, for the Russia center box. So we're having uh, here in Kathmandu itself. So this is a glimpse of our contestant taking participant for the first time in here now we have a lady uh, female participant lady girl participant here uh, started over here and this time also this time also uh, one of the uh, contestant got the honor over here so it has we had it in Wanjala uh, Moskva because the restaurant was not being used so we could use this spacious space to conduct this IMO 2021. So that was IMO. But my activities related to mathematics, my life of mathematics is going on over here. So I like to participate in every aspect. So I also participate in the Asian Mathematics Conference Busan. They call it AMC in Busan in 2013, June 2024, Busan. So these are two, three Korean. Uh, this, this is from Indonesia. Right? These are Koreans over here. So anyway in Korea. I made a presentation over here. So actually there I made a presentation of Lisbon numerical system. So I made a presentation of new Lisbon numerical systems here. 
So then I also participated in the seventh internal conference on science and mathematical education in developing countries in the University of Mandalia, Myanmar, from November 7 to 9, 2014. I was specially invited uh, to participate in this conference. Oh, yeah. I don't have to pay everything except my travel expenses. Everything was taken care of by the conference itself. So I, I, I make a small presentation here. You can have a glimpse of how so I'm supposed to publish anyway. <laughs> I was telling about the mathematics, uh, diploma of mathematics and condition of mathematics in uh, mathematics education in Nepal. Then in 2015, we went to a SIMS school on normal theory and application in cryptography and coding theory in Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam from August 31 to September. It was training. It was a, a training uh, on school, which is called SIMS school. So this is on called SIMPA, they were called SIMPA, a uh, supporting group from uh, France. We had a SIMPA school also in 2010 in Katwani University itself earlier. So this is uh, Michael Walsmith. So he was a member of SIMPA. Actually, he organized everything for us to have this uh, school on number theory and application in Ho Chi Minh. He was instrumental for that. He was also making a presentation there. Then, in 2016, I went to another, uh, it's not a conference, it's called a uh, symposium. It's a sustainable industrial processing summit and exhibition, Sanya, Hania. Sanya is a small city, small town in the island called Sanya, which is south of China, uh, very close to uh, Macau and Hong Kong. So, me and my wife are specially invited to participate in this conference. So when we arrived there, uh, so everything for us was sponsored. When we arrived there, it was a very small, of course, there was a lot of uh, symposium over here, but the group of symposium uh, which we attended was by saint whom I met in 82 in France, you can see. The connection from 82 is still going up, up to 2016, and it will, it is going to continue up to 2021 also. So it, actually they invited me uh, Santili is here. Santili is over here. Santili is here. So they invited me because I had I gave two presentations over there. One is the uh, summary of the 2011 conference which we have uh, in in Nepal, which I have not shown over there because it was not international, but it was international conference in Nepal itself. Anyway, and there. <clears throat> uh, we met Dan Sesman. He was the Nobel laureate in chemistry in 2011, I think. Just a few months earlier, before this November, few months earlier, and in September or October, he came to Kathmandu University and delivered a talk over there. He, there also he talk, uh, delivered a talk. So I could make this meet this Nobel laureate in chemistry twice. And if I go to uh, Phuket, Thailand, in few months' time, I will again meet him. He's a, again an invited person, Nobel laureate there. So in 2021, uh, in November, December, in Phuket, Thailand, they have invited nine uh, Nobel laureates, two from physics and uh, six, seven, five or six from uh, chemistry and three, four from medicine and psychology and so on. Anyway, and here in this uh, submit, I was given uh, this World Scientific Award, Scientific Award over there. You can see, uh, this is the organizer of this uh, summit. Uh, this is Professor Santilli, of course, uh, who has invited me. So I was given uh, the Scientific Award there in China. When I just came back from there, because you can see that it was in November, and in December, same year, I got an invitation to participate in the sixth International Science Congress, the World Science Congress, it held in New Delhi. And this is, uh, the lady is uh, minister. So she awarded me this, well, it's called World Scientist Legend 2016. So I was given this prize of World Legend Science, Science Legend. Okay, in 2016 in New Delhi also. Then suddenly I got an invitation to 
participate in international conference on fractional differential and its application in Amman's order. Though I told them I am not from this field, but even then they wanted to come over there and also uh, make a small presentation and also uh, chair one session. And the inauguration was done by our Royal and this lady over here, he, she is the, our Royal Highness Prince Sumaya bin Il Hassan. So we attended that uh, small conference, three days conference in Amman, Jordan. And this is the mayor of uh, Amman. So this is the conference we had over here. So you can see that my wife is traveling everywhere. She's just like a shadow. Then uh, we also went to, uh, before ICM 2018 in Brazil, we stayed a few days in San Paulo to attend this internal conference in analysis and application, but that's my field itself. But I didn't make a presentation. Uh, and the conference was held in San Paulo. So we stayed a few days in San Paulo. Then we moved to uh, Rio de Janeiro for ICM 2018. Now, this comes to my pictorial conference and we are coming, coming to an uh, closing because it's very close to seven o'clock. Now, making background for the uh, next seminar. So here I have put, this is a uh, face of a small booklet which I have in my uh, uh, library, let me say. So this is a SA, Vladimir Alexander Sandu Vinic. He is the rector of the Moscow State University, the biggest university of Soviet Union, and also the topmost university in the Europe uh, is known as the Moscow State University, named after Lebedev, who made the periodical table. He is also the academician of the Russian Academy of Sciences. He is a mathematician by uh, profession. So he made a talk on mathematics and its role in the university humanity progress. So the title is Matrix and its role in the humanity pro progress. And the lecture was given for the students of the faculty of journalism. You can see the mathematician talking to the students of journalism. Okay, so I have this small booklet, it's a five, five page small booklet. And this booklet uh, is with me. Uh, so I'll just try to quote this one. He says that a professional will tell you not only about the progress in his sphere, in our case mathematics, but primarily about the dramatic history of conflicts, misconceptions, and errors. So in the coming seminars, which will start from next Friday, I'll be talking about different mathematics disciplines, how they were de developed, what are the dramatical history, what are the people behind this, what will the misconceptions over there? What will the readers do during the discoveries of big mathematical theorems and uh, discoveries? So on this note, I will be developing my mathematical seminars in from coming seminar, uh, coming uh, week, next Friday itself. So he said a professional will tell you not only about the progress in his sphere, but primarily about the dramatic history of conflicts, misconceptions, and errors. So that is how I will try to focus my coming seminars over here. This is a list of very important uh, mathematical equations that change the world. Later on, I'll focus on these topics also, so that uh, those who will be attending the seminar uh, will have a glimpse of those mathematical mathematics which change the world itself. Uh, so these are some of the books from my library, which I'll be using uh, for making my seminar presentations. So I have a book known as From Zero to Infinity, What Makes Numbers Interesting. So when we're talking about inf numbers, I'll be using this book. So there's another book called Mathematical Thinking, How to Develop It in the Classroom, very useful for uh, math education uh, teachers. There's another book known as The Mathematical Travel, exploring the grand history of numbers. So this will be helpful for my uh, number presentation. And I have another book called Mathematical Masterpiece, Further Chronicles by the Explorer. There are a lot of uh, biography of and their discoveries uh, in mathematics. And um, it will be best, uh, the topic will be, uh, the seminar will be based on this uh, book known as the Mathematics Three of the Ages. So that's why uh, my seminar will be known as the Mathematics Three of the Ages over there. So I am not going to 
teach you or tell about the modern development of mathematics. I'll try to tell how this mathematics has developed, evolved uh, during these so many centuries and what are the role over there, whatever the pro tr troubles, problems, errors, and so on and so on. And finally, I'll end with this quote. This is a quote from Israel Gelfand. So uh, in my coming seminar, I'll be talking about the life of three mathematicians. Most of them will be uh, thematic uh, oriented. That means maybe talking about numbers, maybe algebra, maybe geometry, and so on. But uh, I'll also be talking about three life and work of the three mathematicians. Uh, one will be uh, one will be a lady, Sofia Kovalevskaya, very interesting a Russian lady, and then second will be Eller, the prominent mathematician who has brought revolution over here. And one will be the Israel Gelfand. He is a Russian, but uh, still lives in uh, U.S. And I have, I have not met him. He has passed away. Uh, but I have met all his family members, his wife, his children, son and daughters. I have met with them. So I will be talking about this Israel Gelfand also. Because I have attended uh, his one-year seminar when I was doing PhD uh, in 82. I went to the... Moscow State University, where he was a professor there, and where they, they call it the Gelfand Seminar. So my supervisor tells that if you want to be a big mathematician in Nepal, you have to attend this Gelfand Seminar. So Gelfand Seminar continued when he was in States also. After 1991, he went to States. This Gelfand Seminar is going on. So this small quote over here. People think they don't understand math. That is what we also think. But it's all about how you explain it to them. If you ask a drunkard what number is greater, 2 by 3 or 3 by 5, he won't be able to tell you. But if you rephrase the question, what is better, two bottles for vodka, two bottles of vodka for three people, or three bottles of vodka for five people, he will tell you right away, two bottles for three people, of course. So that means as a teacher, you should be able to tell, rephrase here understanding mathematics so that the people understand it. So don't try to always try to tell in your mathematical symbols only. So that's what Israel Gelfand has taught us. So we'll continue with this uh, in the coming seminar with, in the coming, my seminars over here. So next time, so next time, next time I'll start S1 the top, it, so I saw this is a series of mathematics theories. I'll talk about the squaring the circle. Uh, the big problem in, from the 16th century to the 18th century. So next time I'll be talking about the squaring the circle uh, from 16th to 18th century. So as I've told there will be no big uh, mathematic formula in my presentation. There will be a lot of quotations and whatever it is, or uh, life of put impact in those things over here. So with this, I thank you very much. And uh, OK. So this is what in symbol I got, got from France, from Simpa, I think. Anyway. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Vadarman, sir. Thank you for a very inspiring session. So it seems that. Okay. okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, Bal sir, ma, you start the opening session. Bako nali sorry opening karna. Bal sir, I kindly request you to uh, close the sessions with few of your words. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Vadarman, uh, sir, for these. I'm only here to conclude the session. Inspiring, thank you, sir. Inspiring, thank you, sir. Inspiring by the way, most just a tabar lipony, full full cam one of Sokos Mother, Mirosuka Nagolai Bonagonio. Very inspiring, sir. Very inspiring. Yes, I am our Kasma Gonit, Nichi, saying Athwa Gonitra began this company Gonit, physics or background, physics, physics, but a math to the Zanbusar, which is very, very our. You are a subject of study of history को कुरा गर्ने नेपाल मा mathematical society को mathematics को ऐसे विकास को बारे में बुझने होने तो मैं आखिर नहीं सारे आखिर नहीं 
So from that perspective, this is very, very, you know, inspiring. And um, many of our students are posting here that it's very inspiring. I think it's very, very educating for many of us as well. You know, for the faculty, for young and, you know, not so young. Uh, and also many of our students, because I, I in, we encourage, because we have 21 students in our, this, this batch, and we also have students doing research and also students in the third semester. I hope they all are here and they will participate in our ongoing uh, uh, presentations by Vadraman sir. So thank you once again. Thank you very much, Sarli. Dere Mahato Ponakura. Mathematics ko history ahoi ma interesting sa. Kina wane, manchele people think that mathematics is given by somebody, a person with, uh, with uh, you know, uh, a gifted mind. Of course, uh, you know, we need uh, mathematical mind, but everybody has some form of mathematical mind by the one inter. Tell a cultivate garna kura ho, sarle tiyo kura prashtra sangha batai din baacha with examples. You know, kasari wale chayin tishto difficult thao ma bani shakna bo, PhD shakna bo, you know, bivinna wako turns and twists ru chayin, which is, which is really aspiring. Aba, yewda kura chayin ma kye banchu, banda kheri, Wako material I lira, you might do a biographical research. Kosele, amid ma biographical research, Badraman Sarko Barima Punigorna Saknunsa. You can do interview, you can meet him, and you can collect the material on a Kosari or a mathematician university administrator. You can have any mathematics of passion like continue Goro when a topic name, master student Kolagi, or a thesis of Bishay on a circle. That's what I can announce, you know, sir, and other friends also. Think about it and ask, encourage the students to actually document these uh, these uh, interesting historical um, uh, episodes. Amru Badraman Sir, Boda, Suru Garna Satsang. Lagay taru dehi jo mathematics ma time dinu ko wahar ko baare mein biographical study bani. Amile masters ma thesis lekhon na satsang, research gara na satsang. So with this, I would like to conclude the talk for today and. We are very much happy to host family. All the other plan got it. But I'm the logistic behind the current. All the other people. So with this, I conclude the um, the talk for today, and we'll invite you next week. So this is what I would say. Thank you, Father Master. Thank you. Wish you all, wish you safe and healthy life ahead. And if I am missing it, sir, I am really inspired by that. Thank you very much. Balanji. Balanji. Well, are you doing it? Because I couldn't examine our student. Let's say, Mele Cossi PhD Gorem, one name Matris, any Jacobone, Tatman Panons or Mazako. Very interesting. Mele PhD Gorna, Cossi Sulgore, a Cossi Sidia. Interesting crowds. Cotanimons. Okay, thank you, everybody, for listening. Thank you. Oh, you thank you. 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 Thank you.